And are you a fan of Korean dramas and webtoons? And if so, you might be interested in the comparison between All of Us Are Dead and Sweet Home. All of Us Are Dead then uh, seems to have a brighter future than, than Sweet Home for one big reason. The cast diversity in All of Us Are Dead is truly a game changer um, and compared to its predecessor, Sweet Home. Uh, the balanced focus on multiple characters in All of Us Are Dead makes it more engaging and less dependent on a single protagonist. Uh, this allows for richer narrative experience and ensures that each character's journey is just as compelling as the next. Uh, All of Us Are Dead is poised to surpass Sweet Home as Netflix's leading horror Korean drama. The zombie series has a more promising trajectory than Sweet Home ever it did, particularly since the latter concluded with its third season, following a contentious second season that saw some key characters taking a back seat to make way for number ones. Despite ending on a strong note due to Cha Han Su's expanded role, Sweet Home failed to surpass the quality of its initial season. The K-drama starring Son Kang broke new ground on the streaming platform as the first Korean production to enter the global top 10 in 2020. Serving as a precursor to for sensations like Squid Game, another globally successful Netflix K-drama was All of Us Are Dead, which premiered in January 2022 and secured a second season on June 6 of the same year. Officers who were in the family uh, and, and uh, in essence, the final episodes of All of Us Are Dead and uh, Sweet Home share some similarities. Uh, but the zombie K-drama has set up more compelling grounds for a sequel compared to the monster series. Both shows are Korean dramas adapted from webtoons, making it relatively predictable where their narratives would lead, given that both series exhausted their source materials in the first seasons. Crafting compelling reasons for additional episodes could be challenging. Yet, the popularity of these shows on Netflix has paved the way for new seasons to unfold. And their eagerness to continue the story, Sweet Home found itself in a predicament by focusing heavily on the webtoon, yet returning for another season. Contrasting with All of This Us Are Dead, which boasts four main characters and an expansive ensemble cast. Sweet Home is essentially the saga of Cha Yun Su. By reducing Song Khan's character to a mere piece in a larger, intricate puzzle, they grew even more convoluted in season two. Sweet Home strayed from what initially made it captivating. The absence of the engagements that relationships between Hyun Su and his fellow Green Home residents transformed Sweet Home into a completely different production. In Sweet Home 2, the narrative incorporated military elements and introduced various factions such as Oon Leong's group and remnants of the government. Um, characters like Dr. Lin and Lee Kyung's daughter uh, gained significant importance, eclipsing many characters from season one. Moreover, a one-year time skip occurred during which significant events unfolded off-screen. The second season of Sweet Home faced challenges as it wasn't necessarily necessary. Whereas All of Us Are Dead still holds intriguing storylines to explore further. A key strength of All of Us Are Dead over Sweet Home lies in its non-reliance on a single character to drive the narrative forward. Now, although Sweet Home boasted an array of talented actors and characters, it often centered around Song King's Cha Hyun Su, which may have restricted the story's growth without compromising the lead role. In contrasting, All of Us Are Dead has four central characters who equally contribute to the plot, allowing for flexibility in character development as one or more may take a back this week the second injuries of them, all of the others, seat, while others can continue to shine. Uh, all uh, if Jung San comes back, uh, there's a wealth of uh, narrative possibilities for him, Anjo, Namra, and Suyak, uh, and all of us are dead too. Uh, in contrast to Sui Hum, after her Jisoo's demise and Lee Kyung's disappearance, uh, only Unyu remained among the main characters in the Green Home 
uh, with the Hunsu gone. Uh, even if new characters are introduced in all of Festivity, our dead season two, uh, I don't envision the series abandoning its four central figures. Despite the challenge of continuing the story beyond the source material, uh, Dead has the necessary resources to accomplish this task. So what do you think? Which one would you choose? If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. And here's a short-term joke for you. Why did the zombie go to school? He wanted to improve his dead education. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time...